In many cases, cinemas showing widely distributed stereoscopic 3D movies show 2D and 3D versions at the same time. In some cases, a single theater is shared according to time slots. However, the required resources are double for a single movie, imposing a disadvantage for movie theaters. This problem is not one to be solved by converting every theater to show 3D. There are moviegoers who are unable to enjoy 3D movies for various reasons. 3D theaters pose a hazard for children, the stereo blind, and people whose eyes fatigue easily or wear glasses that interfere with 3D glasses. If theaters were able to show 2D and 3D film simultaneously while giving the audience the ability to choose, this would not only benefit cinemas, but audience members who prefer 2D and 3D film as well. A system for projecting multiple images on a single screen through multiplexing, called Skritter, has been developed by Utsugi and Associates. Skritter uses two projectors to compose a naked eye image, image A, through the polarized projection of a hidden image, image B, and its difference with the naked eye image, image C, onto a screen. Image A is visible with the naked eye, while image B is visible only to users wearing polarized glasses. However, we should take gamma values into account in order to achieve full concealment. Additionally, the solution should have support for dynamic images. Concealment processing is performed using a pixel shader to support the hiding of dynamic images. In this way, real-time generation of multiplex hidden images is possible with multiple videos of any kind. As an experiment, a CG movie was created and set up as shown for converting multiplex hidden imagery to stereoscopic 3D. This picture shows an ideal setup. While viewing with the naked eye, 2D images can be seen like so. In this picture, the stereoscopic 3D left eye image is shown as the 2D image for the viewing with the naked eye. The right eye image can be seen through a polarized filter. In this way, audience members can experience a stereoscopic effect by placing a filter over the right eye only. A difference in brightness exists between the two images, but this is not a problem for depth perception when using the anaglyph method. The letter K can be perceived to float before the screen. Not only is this 2D-3D hybrid theater cost-effective for cinemas, it can provide a universal design that accounts for the hazards posed by stereoscopic 3D glasses for children, the stereoblind, and people whose eyes fatigue easily or already wear glasses. This method does not require electronic devices such as active shutter glasses. Being cost-effective, various glasses can be designed. Using this same technique, it is also possible to implement closed captioning or commentary overlay. In stereoscopic 3D, contrast is equally distributed between the left and right images at 50% each. However, it is also possible to constrict the contrast of the hidden image by passing a mixture ratio to the GPU as a parameter. In the future, greater image quality can be achieved using the wide range color spaces of high dynamic range projectors. See? Now we can go see a movie together!